Ah, beautiful day out here guys, back in the Z06 Corvette, got the top down, ah, this is so much fun. We are joining not just one Z06 today, we are joining I, I think like a dozen all around me, if not more, check this out, what do we have all around us, Z06 after Z06 after Z06. Welcome to Spring Mountain Raceway with the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. We are inside the latest fleet of Z06 Corvettes to finally land here for the school to use for customers to experience what these cars can do. You guys have all been seeing what we've been doing with our car. You have the chance to experience one of these without the risk of driving your own. You have the chance to come out here to a learning environment and uh, find out how to drive your Z06 fast. I have to say one thing, this interior is fantastic with the carbon fiber, the blue painted stripe, with even the dark blue leather everywhere. This is nice. So getting out of the Z06, this is actually an aero car as you can see here. And interestingly, check this out. You can see the standard Z06 wheels right in front of me, directly in the middle. The wheel studs are pretty long and they're sticking far out. Coming to the left, the wheel studs are not sticking near as far out. Well, guess what this is? I think this is a carbon fiber wheel car that they got for the school and they switched it over to the standard uh, wheels that come with the Z06. That means that I think you can possibly do the same. Don't quote me. This is just off my opinion from what I am finding. Also, they do not use the OEM uh, wheel lug nuts. I think if you tried using the OEM wheel lug nuts to do this conversion, it wouldn't work because it would stop and the wheel would just not be sealed all the way. If you don't know this, they do change out the wheel studs with carbon fiber wheel cars making them longer. And this is the first time I've actually really seen an example of it in person. Check out the entire lineup of Z06s everywhere. To my left, I believe these are all the aero cars. It's really cool seeing the entire lineup finally. The Z06s, they are hard to get. Oh, check that out to my right. That's actually a 70th anniversary edition <laughs> in person with the stripes and being a convertible. <laughs> now, now we were actually here today with the uh, McLaren 600 LT putting down some fun laps over there on a Charleston Peak, but let's try to join up with the team out here from Ron Fellows Performance Driving School to maybe see if we can experience one of these things on the racetrack with one of their pro drivers. I'm curious how they drive theirs in in comparison. Over there we have Rick from the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. Good to see you again, How's Austin. it going? It's going fantastic. How you been? It's been quite a while since I've seen you last, but I'm in shock again how many of these Corvettes have shown up. This is like almost 20 from what I've got. About counted. 17 Z06s we have here right now. 17. Yes. I also heard you guys just had your first official school too. We did. We just finished it uh, this really? week here. It was Monday and Tuesday and it officially kicked off the Z06 program, the owner's program. Overall, is the reception pretty good? The reception was really awesome. It was really awesome. We keep the Z06 owners in a separate group. So when they're on track, it's only Z06s on the track and there's six at a time. Are they all running on the uh, PS4 tires? Yeah, we, yes, we're running on the 4S tires. Yes, you know, the summer only tires. We're running all on the 4S tires. And they're handling pretty consistently, would it's you say? It's a pretty impressive tire. It's a great all-around street tire and track tire as well. Extremely forgiving tire. Do these cars have the uh, track camber alignment? Yes, we do the track preparation right from the GM manual. So we do the front end alignment, the rear alignment, and exactly what it says for track prep is exactly what we do. Another reason we run the 4S is, is it could be raining out here from time to time and we're going to still run in the rain. And the truth of the matter is most drivers coming here will see, will spend more time on a wet street than they will a dry racetrack. So that's another reason why we use the 4S's. Having the car being totally naturally aspirated out here in the desert, cooling, I don't think will be an issue. Cooling should not be an issue. It was 100 degrees uh, on the last school and we did not have one uh, overheating issue really? whatsoever. I just noticed something too, Rick. 
I think that your front bumpers, you still have the uh, protection guard in the middle where the license plate goes. I'm sure those will be coming off here very, very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for yeah. the 110 degrees days, if those ever happen. Happen, we'll, we'll remove those. Those will, that will be your answer, right? Yes. To survive? Yes, and it's kind of a tester right now. We're just kind of seeing what they're doing. We have a ton of Aero Z06 models or Z07s, I believe. And then we have versions that don't have all the Aero and then they have the standard iron rotors do all these cars run together or are they separate uh, they will run all together we'll run them in six cars on a track three groups of two so we have a lead car two student cars another lead car two more student cars another lead car and two more student cars so they're gonna run all together and then we put everybody in like speed groups we kind of assess their what their ability is and we kind of mix them, mix them around in like speed groups do you think it's possible I know it's super short notice but can we experience one of these cars on track today yeah let me get JJ one of our good drivers out here yeah. and uh, we'll have I'll have him take you around our new uh, newest track Charleston Peak how's that's that that's the sound? same one I'm driving on yeah that, that'll, that'll be perfect Let, yeah, let's do let's, it let's just do that I'll have to critique them because I've done a lot of track time in the Z06 yeah. so I want to see you can report back to me too <laughs> <laughs> I'll report back to you Let, let's do it man well nice. thank you so much you man alright we have made it to Spring Mountain Raceway at Charleston I think North Track isn't it Charleston JJ Peak, yep this guy is going to show us what it's like in the Z06 for our first taste of uh, this car at Spring Mountain because the school has begun and uh, I, I can't wait man dude Th thank you so much for uh, yeah. taking me out yeah you're uh, welcome ready to go yeah, let's go do Let, it let's do it <laughs> oh this is gonna be sick <laughs> all right I am pumped so you have the level one carbon fiber interior in this car I see yeah so this just sat yeah i don't i'm not involved in the ordering process you know <laughs> it's still a good spec it's still pretty nice wow yeah this is a z07 but without the high wing and uh we're on 4s tires we're not on the cup r tires and you're running in ptm sport, sport? yes cool. sir oh z mode <laughs> that's the because you can press it twice to get to ptm sport yep you got your save setting yeah Perfect. Yeah, this sounds beautiful as always. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I can't wait. Yeah, with the 4S tires, you'll you'll hear it squealing a little bit more for sure. So smooth. Yes, very smooth. You're keeping up with the ZL1 on slicks. There you go. <laughs> tight bit right here right uh, well kind of wow this last couple corners is a little tricky wow I'm very impressed with this tire on this track. It's yeah, it's not bad, is it? Wow. It's a very forgiving tire, you know? It is. The 
front end grip too. Oh yeah. Awesome driving, man. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, very smooth. You can really use all the curbing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and this is, in, you know, in PTM Sport too, so. I, I know, it's wild. Yeah. the fastest guy out here <laughs> by far wow and tires are getting better every lap you know yeah slower in the car than it really is in the mile per hour you know <laughs>
what'd you think, huh? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned because I didn't think the PS4 tires could perform to that level. Yeah, the uh, 4S tires are a lot more forgiving, so that's why we use them in the schools, you know? Uh, it's totally different because, yeah, with um, the Cup 2Rs, I find like there's a, a, a narrow, a more narrow window. Yeah, for sure. Performance. It's faster. Um, and, and you don't really get as much of the tire squeal, right. um, but like as is, like the standard Z06 is a proper track car. Feels yeah, like. not bad, huh? Even with the lower amount of downforce, I don't really think it mattered that much no. on this track. No, not too much. Um, if you're doing like 130 through big sweepers, you know, it's going to start to play a way bigger Yeah, factor. so I think like if someone even bought the, the non-Z07, I think they can thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. I'm very, and this is with the track camber from the Chevy recommendation yep. negative two. Yep. It feels dialed in for the, this track right here. I, I'm a big fan of this layout. This is amazing. Can you give it a dual paddle rev? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty cool, right? The PTM Sport Mode yep. actually allowed you to go very Pretty good. Far. Yeah, you, you know, as it, the more aggressive you're driving the car, the uh, the more active it'll be, you know? But if you drive it nice and smooth, it won't kick in as much. You're right, you're yeah. right. And then if you wanted more of that wild turn in to get it to rotate more, right. then you had slowly progressed more into the all out race two mode. Right. Uh, but as is, I understand why you guys use this. Just to confirm, that's the mode you use for yes. the school. That's the mode we use for the school. That's why I drove in that mode. Uh, show how capable these cars are, you know, in just the PTM Sport mode. Thank you so yeah, thank much you for the ride. It's a ton of fun. It's totally different being a passenger in the Z06. I'm usually one of the drivers. <laughs> and getting here with, with a driver like JJ, so so much fun. So much fun. That's a little pass out there. What was that all about? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> we got pointed by, so we get pointed by, we go, right? Awesome. Awesome, man. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section, what do you think of the Ron Fellows Driving School? Should we join it and attend the Z06 program? Looking forward to hearing your comments down below. Thank you to the team again. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the new videos coming out. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Thank you.